And what the students really got into was understanding the mathematics of mortgages. Um, you might think that high school students are not concerned with mortgages, um, but in fact there were two students in the class whose families were losing their homes. There was one student in the class whose grandmother had lost her home. All of these were involved in subprime mortgages. When we looked at the data in both North Lawndale and South Lawndale or Little Village, we saw that the number of foreclosures in three years had tripled and there were boarded up homes all around students. You could not get to school without seeing foreclosed homes. So this was very much part of their reality. So when we started exploring what was happening and whose community was this and would students be able to remain in their community and what were the trends and why was this happening, mathematics became a very important way of making sense out of it. In particular, we used something called discrete dynamical systems, which are a relative, relatively complex mathematical um, system of equations to understand mortgages how when you pay a mortgage, what happens with the interest and the principal, what happens over time, what happens when you cannot afford to make your payments, how uh, do banks actually make money from communities, and how all of that is tied to the fact that people actually cannot necessarily afford the houses that they're living in. And so this became something that students became very engaged in. They became actually very adept in understanding and unpacking mortgages. They could explain, and they did explain to other adults, about negative amateurization, about subprime loans, about adjustable rate mortg mortgages, balloon payments, et cetera. They were able to model these using mathematics with their graphing calculators. They were able to analyze them. They could see changes, and they understood what these meant in terms of their own family's capacities to remain in the neighborhood.